Bram Fayez is the current king of R&B, whether you get his off-kilter vocals or not. His music covers all different styles through his work with producers like DJ Dahi and Deepat, among others. There's a lot of great videos about the production of Brent's songs, and I watched like all of them just to make sure that I had something else to add to the conversation, and thankfully I do. Number one, drums. Hicks pointed out in his video that Brent's drums often sound like they're inspired by Timbaland's drum style, and as soon as he said it, I went, oh yeah, of course they do. Brent's songs sound like the beat for Aaliyah's One The Million, but produced 20 years later. And then I twigged. Being Away and One In A Million both have the same like cricket chirping noise in the background. So I looked into it a bit more and turns out they don't just sound like Timbaland drums, they are Timbaland drums. These drums come from multiple unreleased demos that Timbaland made back in the day. I recreated it pretty well by layering up some kicks and snares on top of the sample. If you want to create your own drums that sound like Timbaland slash Brent, one thing I'd recommend is actually beatboxing. Record a kick and snare to one track and then a hi-hat to another, which you can then use as a reference to place your drums. I promise you this is worth your time. It gives you a much more natural feel and bounce. You can also do this by converting it to MIDI, so don't worry if that's how you make your drums. Sound selection is also important. Use organic sounding drum hits that knock quite hard. Or if you're lazy and just want to steal some Timbaland drums, I found this song from some movie soundtrack that has real good drums. You can't say I don't do anything for you. Number two, guitar. The Saunderson album had organic hip hop drums again, but added on Latin percussion and Spanish style guitar. But they said the same damn thing. Got niggas paying top dollar at a holler. To achieve this sound, you can try a couple free guitar plugins. There's Vinyl Guitar that has a nylon setting, and there's Heaviosity Foundations Vinyl Guitar. However, the problem with guitar plugins is a lot of the time it's difficult to make them sound legit, which, unless you're talented and can play guitar, congratulations to you, jackass. You're left at the mercy of finding samples. I found a couple I liked and layered them up with some organic drums. I like the strumming pattern and emotion of this one. and I like the moody arpeggiated vibe of this one. Both of those are decent, but somewhere in between would probably be the best. Good luck finding samples or using the plugins. You'll need it. Number three, filtered. Brent loves that underwater R&B sound. And if we look at Jackie Brown as an example, The intro sounds like he takes the melodic elements from the main part of the song and pitched and manipulated them with some digital processing for a really cool intro. I'm gonna replicate this with SWV's Rain because I feel like it has a similar vibe. Sometimes it's soft as a what I did was warp it and speed it up, make two copies and pitched one up six semitones and one down six semitones. Now the fun bit, digital processing. I used the 12-bit processing inspired by the SP1200 and achieved this by using Redux on one and then Lassie Codec, which is free, on the other. They're both essentially doing the same thing of reducing it to 12-bit, but being that they're different plugins, they're doing it slightly differently, which gives just a little bit extra texture. And if you're not using Ableton and don't have Redux, there's also a plugin called PCM, which is free, that does the same job. Combining these together will sound a bit abrasive. <laughs> When you add an auto filter with a bit of a resonance bump at the right spot, you get this real nice lo-fi R&B vibe with a lot of texture. Play with reverb and then use an EQ on the master so that it fills that specific frequency range. Side note, if you're enjoying these techniques, give us a like and a sub. I've got plenty more videos coming and I've just hit a thousand subs. And for that, I have to say thank you all, you bunch of handsome b****.
Number 4, Synths. Brandt has been combining his sweet vocal harmonies with lush strings for a while, but in Wasteland it brings a new texture of cheap digital synths, as well as 80s drums. This is very easy to achieve. If you grab a synth with two triangle waves and turn on the noise carrier, boom, EQ it, add some big reverb and you're good. Or any crappy cheap sounding synth. I'd say imagine the Casio keyboard you got when you were eight years old at Christmas. That type of crap. If it sounds like that, you're on to a winner. Wasteland. It also takes somewhat of a sidestep with the drums. Way more ups. Let's make love. That be the reason that you always hit me up. I swear. They're stripped back and more 80s sounding with what to me seems like a lindrum with some gated reverb, possibly layered with a modern snare on top, or at least that's how I achieved the sound. He also adds a shaker with a lot of movement to help that straight snare feel a bit more rhythmical. All it takes is one element to make it feel like everything else is landing with more charisma. Super simple, but effective. Number five, pitching. My boy Brent does not care. He will pitch his vocals up or down for like a whole minute and you sit and think, oh, that must be what the track sounds like. And then boom, it kicks in the regular pitch again. I quite like this because I don't see a lot of artists doing this as much as he does, especially for as long as he does. This is definitely something worth exploring, even if it's in its more subtle way, like on Gravity, where the outro is just the previous section, but pitched down two semitones, but it remains at the same tempo. I don't want you This is really easy to achieve. All I did was copy and paste, put it the complex algorithm and pitch it down two semitones. A lot of producers use Sound Shifter by Waves to achieve this effect, and you can even hear it get mentioned in the studio with Brent in this video, but I don't think you necessarily need this plugin to be able to achieve this effect, as I've just proven. There also is a Pitch Shifter plugin in Ableton, but it struggles with full tracks, so I'd recommend the complex algorithm over using that, but give it a go anyway. And please don't spend more than 30 quid on this plugin if you do bad from Waves. Me and all my homies hate Waves. Question mark? The most interesting thing about Brent is that you could try and replicate his beats all day long and they'll still feel like they're not quite right. That's because Brent, more than any artist I can think of, interweaves his voice in the production as an instrument. His voice is what makes a Brent beat Brent. He has touched a lot of styles in his music, but they all still feel authentically him. This video was incredibly overwhelming to make because he has so many techniques, enough that I think I could make a part two, in which I think I'll use my vocals intertwined with the beat, even though I can't sing, which could be pretty funny. I think I'll do that if this video hits 10k or a thousand and likes or if there's plenty of comments asking for it shout out to brother mall music and sunray beats for showing interest for this video in the meantime you can watch the video i did on knowledge's production techniques like and subscribe if you're handsome thanks for watching